Right now at noon, we'll hear from Madison's mayor about what's included in her operating budget and why Milwaukee elections officials decided to cancel absentee voting scheduled to happen at Miller Park and Pfizer Forum. This is News 3 Now at Noon. Good afternoon, I'm Mark Kane. Thanks for joining us today. The Madison Metropolitan School District says their online learning platform is back online after being down for about two and a half hours this morning. An alert was posted to their website saying school email and virtual programs are down. A district spokesperson told us the issue was resolved about an hour ago. Madison Mayor Sacha Rose Conway is planning on millions of dollars in cuts to next year's budget to offset the negative impact that the, uh, the coronavirus has had on the city. The mayor announced her ideas in the last hour. In addition to cuts, she's building in furlough days and layoffs. The mayor said she needs the police and fire unions to also renegotiate their contracts, saying that they are no longer realistic. She said without that, the departments will have to make cuts elsewhere that could lead to people losing their jobs. Let's head to the Weather Center now. Meteorologist Hattie McLean has a look at your first worn forecast. Hi, Hattie. Hi, Mark. We've had a little bit of cloud cover move through southern Wisconsin this morning, and you can see that on our sky camera shots. Looking from the uh, Edgewater sky camera out over Lake Mendota and downtown Madison, looking a little hazy right now. Clouds are clearing, though, to the west, so we'll see some sunshine this afternoon. We're already seeing a 70 degree on the map this afternoon, 70 in Mineral Point and Janesville. We're close here in Madison with 68. Winds are from the west, but they'll stay much lighter than they were yesterday. Our high temperatures today should should reach the low 70s in most locations. It is going to stay mild tonight. Coming up in Maine weather, we'll talk more about Hurricane Delta as well as our extended forecast. All right, we'll see you in a few minutes, Hattie. Thank you. Miller Park and Pfizer Forum will not be used as in-person absentee voting sites anymore. Officials with the City of Milwaukee Elections Commission made the announcement this morning, citing a recent uh, court ruling that could open the door to legal challenges. It's unclear what ruling the commission is referring to. The elections officials, city elections officials said their state's counterparts told them early voting sites had to have be, had to have be designed, I'm sorry, designated by June 12th, and the Pfizer and Miller Park plans weren't implemented until September 1st. The commission's executive director says they don't want to do anything that could risk a voter's ballot being counted. Two City of Beloit employees have tested positive for COVID-19, including one firefighter. Officials say that person was wearing PPE during his last shift and did not have any public exposures, but to be cautious, other firefighters who worked in close proximity had been quarantined. Meanwhile, the Beloit School District says they'll continue with virtual learning through the second quarter, which runs until late January. The Wisconsin Department of Corrections is reporting another coronavirus outbreak in a state prison. Officials say Ash Kosh Correctional has more than 300 active cases among inmates. That facility has a large number of elderly inmates and is the state's most populous prison with nearly 2,000 prisoners. The surge comes after Kettle Moraine Correctional Institution reported 437 active cases among inmates, the largest outbreak at a Wisconsin prison so far. A White House doctor says President Trump reports no symptoms of COVID-19 as he continues recovering at the White House. This morning on Twitter, the president again compared the coronavirus to the flu. Last night, he appeared to struggle catching his breath after climbing the White House stairs, then removed his mask and taped a message playing down the virus threat. More than 210,000 Americans have not beaten and COVID, and the president has returned home to a hot spot with at least 18 infections among his staff and White House guests. The president will continue treatment at the White House, and his doctors say he is not out of the woods yet. That first week, people can have symptoms that, that can be serious, but they may, they may be relatively milder than the second week when you suddenly get inflammation, this inflammatory phase, and that's where people can really very quickly go south. In a new poll from Axios, 23% of those surveyed said the president being COVID positive makes them less likely to trust him to provide accurate coronavirus information. 17% say it makes them more likely to trust the president. Speaking to South Florida voters last night, Joe Biden once again sent best wishes to the first family, but said he isn't surprised by the president's illness. Shortly after the president took off his mask while re-entering the White House, Biden implored Americans to keep them on. Anybody who contracts the virus by essentially saying masks don't matter, social distancing doesn't matter, I think is, 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 is responsible for what happens to them. 
Now, what is this macho thing? I'm not going to wear a mask. What's the deal here? Big deal. Does it hurt you? Be patriotic, for God's sake. Take care of yourself, but take care of your neighbors. The former vice president said he is not worried about contracting the virus despite being in the same room as Mr. Trump a week ago. Earlier in the day, his wife Jill had to step in to remind him to keep a social distance from reporters. Today, a prosecutor is expected to announce a decision on whether to charge a police officer in the fatal shooting of a black teenager outside a suburban Milwaukee mall back in February. The death of 17-year-old Alvin Cole was the third fatal shooting involving Wauwatosa officer Joseph Mencia in the last five Five years. Milwaukee's top prosecutor ruled the previous two shootings were justified self-defense. Cole was shot outside Mayfair, Mayfair Mall after a disturbance was reported. Police say Cole ran from police and fired first before he was shot. Cole's family disputes that claim and is calling for Mensa to be fired. In North Texas this morning, a small town police officer is charged with murder in the killing of a black man. Jonathan Price was shot dead reportedly while trying to break up a fight Saturday night. His family's attorney says he was unarmed. Mier Variel spoke with Price's family before the charges against the officer were announced. Wolf City Police Officer Sean Lucas was booked Monday night charged with murder and his bond set at $1 million. The Texas Rangers say Lucas was responding to a disturbance call outside a gas station on Saturday. That's when Officer Lucas encountered Price, who the Texas Rangers say resisted arrest in a non-threatening posture and walked away. Officer Lucas, according to the Rangers, then tased Price before shooting and killing him. This video captured the chaos Saturday night. The circumstances surrounding Lucas's decision to use deadly force is now under investigation. According to family members, it was Price who intervened and de-escalated a fight between a couple. His father, Junior Price, says he showed up to the scene on Saturday as paramedics worked to save him. What do you remember of that moment? Watching my son die. I knew he was dead before he moved him. No justice! No peace! Hundreds gathered to peacefully honor Price Monday night marching the streets of Wolf City about 70 miles outside Dallas. Price's sister April Lewis says he worked for the city. He was also described as a hometown hero and a stand-up guy. He had a bright future. He was going to start up his own business, fitness center. And it's just... It's just gone. I mean... It didn't have to end like that. Civil rights attorney Lee Merritt represents the Price family. They deserve to know every detail about what happened, and they need to know it immediately. Still, his big sister April is skeptical they'll get answers. I just want some kind of closure. That's all I want. The family attorney tells us there is surveillance video of the shooting, and they are working with the Texas Rangers right now to see it very soon, and they are also planning to file a lawsuit. Mireya Villarreal, CBS News, Dallas, Texas. More local news now. Habitat for Humanity for Dane County is putting on a new event called Drive In, Build On. The breakfast event was held this morning at the Duck Pond, and there's a lunch session underway right now. Similar to a drive-in movie, people stayed in their cars and heard from speakers on the big screen about how home ownership helped improve their lives. News 3 Now this morning anchor Chris Stanford was the MC there to, for the event. Habitat leaders are looking for volunteers right now. One reason is because many grandparents who normally volunteer are helping out with virtual learning. We heard from one volunteer about why he commits to serving through Habitat. The thing about Habitat is that it is truly a, not a gift, but an opportunity for people to work and to make it happen for themselves. And there's so few ways to move into home ownership now. This is really one of the only ways for some people. Habitat has committed to helping get 13 families into a home this year, and they need volunteers to make that happen. If you're interested, go to habitatdane.org slash volunteer. There's more to come on News 3 Now at noon. Up next, Howard's got the perfect recipe for a fall snack in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen. Looking for the perfect thing to serve while watching football or binge watching your favorite shows? We've got it, and it's a no-fail every time. 
General Heating and Air Conditioning. Our large fleet of service vehicles are nearby, and our mobile fabrication shops allow us to save you time and money. When your home comfort system needs servicing or replacing, turn to the experts at Carrier and General Heating and Air Conditioning. Menards has what you need to make towing easy. Make sure your vehicle has the right equipment with Tow Smart. Get the toughest jobs done right with our complete line of towing equipment and accessories. All Tow Smart equipment is 11% off. Add extra security to your load with smart straps, ratchet straps. Check out Menards' great selection and get 11% off. All smart straps, ratchet straps, now at Menards. It's no secret, Robertson is Wisconsin's aesthetic leader. But with results this natural, patients can keep it a secret if they want. Our secret to reducing stubborn body fat? Cool Sculpting. Book a free consultation to learn how Cool Sculpting is different at Robertson. Our seniors that are being hit the hardest, they're frightened. And I want them to know that their health and safety will be my responsibility if I'm your president. And I'll have from day one, ready to go, the best medical experts and scientists to advise on our response. And I will not abandon you. It's a simple proposition, folks. We're all in this together. We gotta fight this together. We'll emerge from this stronger because we did it together. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. Hi, Andrew Larson here with Larson Home Services. The year is drawing to a close, but there's still time to avoid that nasty, dangerous autumn chore, cleaning out your gutters. A new LeafGuard gutter system will be the last gutters you'll ever need. They're guaranteed to never clog, or my team will come and clean them for free. You'll love how they look and how they perform. They're the best. I don't have to worry about the, the gutters getting clogged up with the seeds, the branches, the, the dirt, the, the roof sheddings, and it's just one less worry for me. That's great to hear, and right now, your LeafGuard gutter system comes with the best offer of the year, free installation labor, plus no interest for 12 months, and call now and get a $100 Visa gift card with your new LeafGuard gutter system. Don't wait. Take advantage of our best offer of the year. Call now for your free estimate. General Heating and Air Conditioning. Our large fleet of service vehicles are nearby, and our mobile fabrication shops allow us to save you time and money. When your home comfort system needs servicing or replacing, turn to the experts at Carrier and General Heating and Air Conditioning. This is the time of year when we look for new things to serve when we have friends over to watch football or when we're curled up on the couch binge watching our favorite show. It's easy, budget friendly, and it goes together like this. We start by cutting half a dozen baking potatoes into wedges and seasoning with some olive oil and a bit of salt. After they're well coated, we place them on a couple of baking sheets and pop them in the oven until they're golden. Now you want to make sure you flip them halfway through roasting so both sides get nice and golden. Now we place these in a large bowl and toss them with some wing sauce until they're evenly coated. Then we drizzle them with some bottled blue cheese dressing and finish them off with a handful of chopped celery. What we end up with is a dish that combines everything we love about our favorite wings without the bones or greasy fingers. Everyone's gonna love these, wing lovers or not. To get this easy recipe for our buffalo potato wedges, you know the routine, visit our website. I'm Howard with Kelly in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a wing dinger of a way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. Dig it. All right, Howard, thank you. Next at noon, warmer weather this week, and the sunshine looks like it's going to stick around for a while. Hattie McClain will tell us when the rain returns in your first warm forecast coming up. I want a reservation for two pair of glasses and an eye exam. Oh, you can just walk in. I see my reputation precedes me. Actually, we do this for everyone. I'm going to pretend you didn't say that. Boop, gone. Unbeatable prices without the drama. Two pair plus a free eye exam as low as $59.95.
Comfort Services. Buy one air conditioner and get one gas furnace for only $1,000. BOGOs are back, and it's a beautiful thing. If a physical or emotional condition keeps you from working, Social Security should pay disability benefits. Often it doesn't, and deserving people are denied. I'm attorney Don Becker. Don't give up. In Wisconsin, we've turned thousands of disability denials into approvals. Disability law is all we do. Call the Becker Law Office, 1-800-254-7766. Our seniors that are being hit the hardest, they're frightened. And I want them to know that their health and safety will be my responsibility if I'm your president. And I'll have from day one, ready to go, the best medical experts and scientists to advise on our response. And I will not abandon you. It's a simple proposition, folks. We're all in this together. we got to fight this together. We'll emerge from this stronger because we did it together. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. Stanton Optical is always here for you with our safe telehealth technology. You can just walk in for an eye exam whenever you need one. And your eye exam is free when you buy two pair of glasses for as low as $59.95. Find your nearest store at stantonoptical.com or call 1-800-STANTON. A record number of absentee ballots, questions about the Postal Service, the voting process, and the integrity of the election. I think you should feel safe sending your ballot in right now. News 3 Now This Morning is answering your voting questions Wednesday. Wisconsin voters deserve the truth. I'm News 3 Now's Amy Reed. I'm breaking down political ads, explaining whose money is behind them and separating truth from misinformation. Get the facts with Reality Check, only on News 3 Now. The Farm Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Well, let's check Wall Street at the noon hour. The Dow Industrials up 16 points. The NASDAQ, however, down 34. The S&P 500 off about three and a half. Let's check in now with Q106 from Dr. Pam Yonke on this Tuesday. How are you? I'm good. I'm good and can hardly wait to hear what Hattie's got in that forecast because we are on a tear when it comes to the harvest of 2020. The latest numbers from the Wisconsin Ag Statistical Service show as far as the corn harvest is concerned, our silage chopping, we're about four weeks ahead of where we were a year ago. Just think about that. Four weeks ahead and everything's looking good. According to farmers, 80% of our corn crops called good to excellent. That's up three percentage points in confidence in just one week's time. We've even got 8% of our corn already harvested for grain and like I said that is just so far ahead of where we were a year ago and ahead of our five-year average as far as that goes soybeans looking real good 18% of our soybeans have already been combined off 83% of our soybeans called good to excellent that's up four percentage points in confidence compared to last week 11% of those lucky folks out there have already got their tillage underway so getting themselves ahead of the 2021 spring planting season 79% of our Wisconsin potatoes are already dug up as well uh, speaking of the yields that we're looking at out there, Wisconsin Soybean Yield Contest, now accepting your uh, your entries. Dr. Sean Conley, our University Extension Soybean Specialist, says it's only going to cost you 25 bucks. Top cash prize is $1,000, second place $500. And for the first grower that hits 100 bushel to the acre or more, $2,500. So it's really worth your time to take a look at how those beans are performing for you. You can find out more and get entered at coolbean.com. Info is his website. All right, let's talk about dairy. So, so far today, dairy has been looking pretty good. I'm watching this cheese market. Barrel cheese up another penny today at $2 even. 40-pound block cheese up a penny and a quarter at $2.65. Double-A butter, that dropped three quarters of a cent. Still at $1.47 and a quarter on six trades. And the market's going to get jittery now, Mark, because Friday at 11 a.m. Central Time, we get a World Ag Supply Demand Report, and we really don't know what it's going to hold in store, given uh, the damage that we're now measuring in the field from that derecho uh, back in August. So a lot of different things that are at play, but so far it's been motivating our markets. Oh, well, that's good. All right, we'll see you, see you later. Thanks, okay. Ben. Here's Hattie now. What's in a name, anyway? <laughs> <laughs> well, a lot. This has been quite the Atlantic season. Hold on, Pam. I will have all the details in our forecast. You know it's quiet, though, when we can start with the tropics. Here is a look at the uh, names so far this year. This is our alphabet. Of course, you know that we're into the Greek alphabet as well with our current storm, Delta. Now, the farthest we've ever gotten into the Greek alphabet is Zeta, two storms away from where we are right now, and that was back in 2005. So we'll see where 2020 ends up on this list. But let's take
take a closer look at Hurricane Delta. It has intensified rapidly just over the last five, six hours. This morning it was a Category 2, now it's a Category 4 storm. You can start to see a little bit of an eye forming on the radar map, not as easily identifiable here with the satellite picture, but this storm is pretty well organized and moving quickly off to the west-northwest. It is expected to make landfall as a Category 4 storm on the Yucatan Peninsula sometime early on Wednesday. Winds gusting up to 165 miles an hour. It'll weaken some, but you see it's not going to travel too far across land before it gets back into the Gulf and will likely strengthen once again to a Category 4 storm. Eventually, it makes a turn towards the north and northeast, making landfall in the U.S. as a Category possibly 3 storm sometime late Friday night into early Saturday morning. Again, a lot of variability, and this track is likely to change over the coming days, but if you have interest from the eastern parts of Texas all the way to the panhandle of Florida, you need to be preparing for this storm. Once it moves over land, it will start to weaken, and all the remnants of this storm are expected to stay south of Wisconsin. Our forecast, much quieter around here. Three things that you need to know going forward. We are going to keep that sunshine around here through the rest of this week, going along with those sunny conditions, a dry weather forecast. We get the benefit of dry weather for several days in a row through the weekend right into the start of next week and warmer temperatures. Normal highs are in the low to mid 60s this time of the year. We have quite a few days in the 70s in our forecast. Now this morning we did have a little bit of cloud cover moving through the area, but you can see the back edge of those clouds working its way through Madison right now. Another batch of cloud cover with a few showers depicted off to our north and west. Any chances for rain will stay across the north woods. We're not expecting any rain here in southern Wisconsin. So let's take a closer look at these temperatures this lunch hour. 68 here in Madison. We now have 70 in Platteville, 71 in Prairie du Chien. Janesville's at 70 as well, so warming nicely. Winds are from the west and they'll stay around 10 to 15 miles an hour this afternoon. Definitely not as strong as they were yesterday afternoon, but with another weak front moving through this evening, expect those winds to increase a little bit to around 20 miles an hour through the overnight time frame. By tomorrow morning, though, the wind should diminish. Your future track forecast model says enjoy that sunshine and warm temperatures this afternoon. It's going to be a beautiful afternoon. Temperatures will be very slow to cool down through this evening. Note the time here, 9 o'clock. We're still in the 60s. That's pretty close to the normal high for this time of the year. Temperatures are likely to stay in the 50s overnight. Here's a look at that extended forecast then. We do have temperatures topping in the upper 60s, close to 70 again tomorrow, mid to upper 60s on Thursday and then we're back in the 70s on Friday. All is quiet around here through Monday. Mark, our next chance for rain comes next Tuesday. It's a different story down south, that's it for sure. It is true. All right, Hattie, thank you. Coming up next at noon, Angie Edge from Dairy Farmers of Wisconsin will show us how to make cheddar apple pie bars. Yum. Stay with us. News 3 Now First Born Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. The house before you, over 30 years old, still has its original window. It's bone chilling. Folks, there's no need to be afraid of old windows. Just call Feldco for 50% off. Right now at Feldco, get 50% off windows. Plus, no interest for one year. 50% off windows ends soon. Call now. For quality windows, siding and doors, call 866 for Feldco. When Joe Biden wants an update on the virus, he calls on the nation's top health experts. Working together for all Americans is what Joe does. When writing his health care plan, Joe Biden worked with both doctors and patients to make health care affordable by lowering premiums, reducing drug costs, and protecting people with pre-existing conditions. Joe listened to both small business owners and workers to create his economic plan that cuts taxes for middle-class families, creates 18 million new jobs in his first term, and raises wages by as much as $15,000 a year. Joe Biden's plans will help working families immediately by making the super rich finally pay their fair share. For Joe, it's never been about ego. It's always been about the work he can do for working families. It's what he's always done. Joe Biden brings everyone to the table and gets it done. 
I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. Wisconsin is a home of workers. We know what needs to get done, and we do it. Yet, we've been hit hard, some harder than others. Our contact may be limited, but we still can lift each other up. The Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund and your local energy providers are working together to help keep your heat and power on. You may not ask for it, but we want you to know we're here. The pandemic is spreading, and people with pre-existing health conditions are most at risk. But Donald Trump is still trying to repeal protections for people with pre-existing conditions. Joe Biden took on the insurance companies and forced them to cover pre-existing conditions. As president, he'll give Americans the choice to buy public health insurance like Medicare and bring down costs by negotiating with hospitals and drug companies. Joe has a plan. FF Pack's responsible for the content of this ad. Angie Edge from Dairy Farmers of Wisconsin joining us now with a great fall recipe. Hi, Angie. Hi. How are you? No, good. How are you, Mark? Great. Looking forward good. to this recipe. Well, nothing says fall in Wisconsin like Wisconsin cheddar cheese and apple, so it's a perfect pairing combination. And today we're making a cheddar apple pie bar that has three delicious layers of goodness. The first layer is the base layer, and it has one and one half cu cups of Hooks One Year Sharp Cheddar baked right into the crust, along with three sticks of Wisconsin butter. So you can imagine how rich and delicious this is. Of course, there's flour, sugar. There's also a base layer of six apples that have been cored and sliced and peeled. And then the top layer, again, with that cheddar ch cheese pie crust. So when you bake it in the oven for 60 minutes, it turns golden brown, and you can really make it, it smells your house is absolutely wonderful so it's really great to serve of course the star ingredient like i said is that wisconsin cheddar that's baked right into the crust so wisconsin leads a nation in cheddar cheese you can buy fresh cheddar curds uh, one year two year three year even 10 or 20 year age cheddar so we've won a lot of awards in wisconsin for our cheddar cheese and hooks is a cheese company that's um, local here right over in mineral point so I should mention, Mark, that when you have these warm apple pie bars, we do recommend serving it a la mode with Wisconsin ice cream, the best way to serve it, and get lots of real delicious dairy products um, with the serving. So ice cream, butter, and cheddar cheese make this a perfect fall treat. So I wish I could bring you some, but um, I will um, make the recipe available, and everyone can find it at wisconsincheese.com. I wish you could deliver it as well. <laughs> All right, Angie, Wisconsin Cheese. Cheese.com. I'm, I'm hungry now. We'll yeah. see, you, see you next time. Thank you. All right, here's Hattie. One final check of the forecast. We have sunshine in our forecast. Take a live look behind me. That is our Queen Bee Radio Sky Camera in Platteville. Here's what it looks like in Madison. So skies have cleared now. Enjoy that sunshine for the remainder of the day. Temperatures will be climbing into the low 70s if they have not already. So a nice mild afternoon ahead. Here's a look at that temperature trend over the next 12 hours. Not only mild during the day, but also mild overnight. Temperatures are still going to be in the 60s at midnight tonight. Here's that extended forecast. Can't look at this enough. It is just a gorgeous forecast coming up. Lots of opportunity to get outside and see some of those fall colors that we have here across southern Wisconsin. Temps will be in the upper 60s Wednesday and Thursday, then back into the 70s for Friday through Monday. Again, our next chance for rain holding off until Tuesday, one week from today. And those are well above normal temperatures, aren't they? They certainly are. Normal's about 63. All right. Thank you, Addie. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you back here at 4. In the meantime, have a great afternoon.